So just a minor bit of tweaking before we move on, just to uh, get us a satisfactory uh, index finger. So we've got to worry about too much uh, later on when we duplicate this finger and, and move it across because uh, we've done sort of like the bulk of the work uh, here and now. Okay, so let's just hit F8, see how we're looking. So again, look, subtle creases just in there. Uh, we'll probably put one in here a little bit later on as well uh, when we've joined everything up around here, just to push that back in there, sort of like beneath the knuckle area as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the thumb. So I'm just going to, again, lengthen that. It does still seem to be a little bit short. So let's just pop that there like so. Much better. That's it. much better now. Okay, so again, we're going to split this guy this time, but we're going to go right around the hand. Uh, so we've got the geometry there uh, to round this out on this area. And what we're going to do is put another one in there. Let's just pop that there. We're going to have to join that up. And that one there and that one there, let's join those guys up there and just going to use the split poly tool for that and the reason being is because we've left all this open uh, because we've got a five sided polygon here uh, those actual parts of the uh, geometry won't go all the way around okay so that's good and a quick tweak just in here and that's pretty good. Okay, so that's good to go for now. And again, uh, as we did before, we're going to start to round out these areas for the thumb now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these edges just here. And we're just going to scale those in like so and just going to drop them back ever so slightly as well and the same with these guys um, as you can see I'm using the uh, edges uh, instead of using the vertices um, sometimes it's actually quicker to uh, gain some form on any model uh, really uh, just by grabbing the uh, edges instead of uh, the points uh, it just saves you some time as well with selecting so it's looking pretty good and just going to squeeze that in as well. Okay, so that's okay there. And what we can do starts to sort of give the the palm a bit more form as well now. And again, use your reference or use your own hand if you've got it available. The reference that is. Hopefully, you both you've got your hands. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some more geometry. Just going to pop that in through there. Okay. And also we're going to put that one through the middle there, as we did before with the index finger. And what I'm going to do is just going to shake this up a little bit more now. I'm just going to grab that there. And just going to round that out just on the front there. Okay, it's looking pretty good. 
Okay, and we'll just start to push these guys around a bit as well. That's good. Okay, and we're just going to squeeze uh, the front of the thumb now. I'm just going to push that in like so. I'm just going to pull that around just a little bit. I'm just going to bring that knuckle area down just a little bit more. So it's a little bit too far up for my liking. And also, let's just move that up slightly as well. And just push that one there. Okay, so that's good. That one's good. Miss that one out. Let's just quickly tune that back into there. So, what we want to do, I think, is just round out these areas now. And then we'll add the nail. Okay, so we want that a little bit flatter, just on there. And again, just push that in into there, like so. And that back one there as well could go in. Okay. And let's just widen that a little bit. So I've got quite wide thumbnails. So and then again, just gonna grab these that one, whoops, that one, that one and that one. And just making sure I've got these back face ones selected. Okay. And just gonna extrude that. Like so. Same again as we did with the uh, index finger. And I'm just going to rotate this and push it back like so. And then we're going to do another extrude. And bring that out and push that forward like so. And we're just going to tinker with this now, tune this one up, and do the same as we did before. And you can see how I mean by just modeling that straight down is going to be much more an advantage than if you were to model that sticking out from the side and twisted back uh, like a normal thumb. Um, so once once all your detail or your most of your blocking out is done, then you can start to uh, twist it about, which we will do shortly. Okay, so just getting in here. and just rounding this out, just getting those forms just right and this thumb could do a little bit of flattening off towards the end there on the nail ok, it's looking pretty good now, that's better and what we'll do, we'll just higher that up a little bit and that one too and we'll bring that forward as we uh, learnt from the index finger so hopefully that should save us a little bit of time there Okay, so just going to jump into our smooth poly mode, and I'm just going to squeeze these in like so, and I'm going to do the same with these two guys here. Okay, and then what we can do, I'll just go back into my whoops. Okay, so you just grab these. I'm just going to push these ones back a bit more. 